How you do, Lynn? <coughs> Welcome to the Mackham Cabby Monday Night Show. Let's <coughs> wait for a few more people to come in. Do, 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 do. How you do, Lynn? to the Mackham Cabby Hello, Davey. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. Ah, yeah. Can you hear me all right, Davey? Ah, me, you champion, son. Ah, good, good, good. How are you doing? Champion, mate. Ah, it's great to have you on again. Um, hopefully this can be a, a habit on a Monday night. I think it'll be quite popular, Dave. Hello. Hello. Two minutes, son. Yeah, yeah. Get, just take take your time. Take your time. There we are. How are you doing? All right, mate. Right, we're going to see if we can add you onto the uh, income and call as well. Can you both hear us? All right. Yeah. Hold a minute. Get me headset on. Leave that. I'm just trying to work out how I can get both these on the chat at the same time. Join call. Can you hear us, Davey? I'm near ya. Can you still hear us, Jacob? Right, I'm just getting uh, set up here. Spell with us two seconds, Davey, lad. Caught us off guard. I was surprised to uh, see you on the uh, camera. <laughs> ah. Right, hold on a second, Davey lad. Uh, how's your day been? You been all right? Hey, nice and settled down, quiet man. Oh, it's quite Desmonders. Right, just bear with us a second, David. I'm just getting your... Getting your bonny mush up there. Right. <laughs> right, just bear with us a second. Right. So then, um, welcome to the uh, the Mackham Cabby Monday Night Show with uh, Davy, Davy, Davy. So how's it going then? Um, so I heard you on the, uh, the the show after the game with uh, Gary Bennett. Oh, God. I was uh, it was it was mental. It was like um, I just heard like. Ben, oh, you're right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you hear me? All right, am I coming through clear? I can hear you clear. I, um, I've got Jacob. I'm the... I've got Jacob. I can't on... see you, like. Uh, <laughs> um, I've got Jacob wanting to join the call as well. I just don't know how to add another caller to the chat. Um. Invite to server. I don't know. I'll have to. I'll have to figure something out later on. Um, but yeah, it was great um, listening to your call on the Monday. Like I think, I think Benno nearly crapped himself when you came on. Oh, he, loves, he loves it, man. <laughs> oh dear me! I just thought it was funny when you went, um, Benno. Are you are right. Uh, what's going on? Are you like? Can we carry the season on through the summer? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought that was uh, that was quite funny. I'll 
Hold on a second again. What is going on with this? Uh... That's better. That's better. Yeah, we'll just have a, I'm just making sure I'm getting the right amount of uh, things here. So, you can hear me all right, though, Dave, yeah? Yeah, fine. Champion. So then, I mean, um, we've already got somebody coming in the chat, Callum. Um, he says, how are you doing? We're doing okie dokie. So, what did yeah. you think about um, our performance, then? Oh, I was over the moment that I thought we were like uh, very a very professional performance, like an ideal of weird performance. Aye, aye, it was like, wasn't it? And as you said, like, uh, said to Benno, it's, like, it's a pity we couldn't play right the way through the summer. <laughs> I was laughing my head off. And I was just hitting form at the wrong time. Aye, you know, I know, but it's still nice though, isn't it? I mean, it, it just shows you yeah. how much the uh, how much the fans appreciated. Aye, another good turnout, wasn't it? Oh, aye. It was. I mean, it, it just shows you, though, doesn't it, how much the fans appreciate it, when you think of it, though. I mean, the, the fans just want to see the team doing well, eh? Well, aye. You know what I mean? They want to see, they want to see them putting an effort in and stuff. Yeah, just put the effort in. That's all a fan ever asks for. Put the effort in. Yeah, absolutely. You can't ask more than that. I'm just going to shift your... Your picture there at the bottom left there. So, um, is there any, any any talking points you want to talk about? Is there anything that stood out for you on that game on Saturday? Just uh, organisation. It just seems amazing how it's turned around in like two or three games. We look so organised. We look strong. I would. Uh, like. Even even that Callum Styles who I wrote off. He looks he looks a player now. He does like, doesn't he? I mean, do you think that's perhaps because he like, as you say, he was playing at a different role? I don't think he's a left. Can I don't think he's a left back, but he's like a wing back or into the middle. He seems comfortable. He's very comfortable on the ball. I've noticed. He takes the ball easy and he's comfortable on it. <clears throat> it's because I noticed. Um... When he came in, he, he he had a little bit of look at Jack Clark on him. There was one moment where he was near the corner flag and he cut right inside, and then he he, he sort of arced away around into the box and he curled a shot that just went wide. It just reminded me what Clark's done. So it just goes to show you what these players can do if they're played in a in a decent position. Eh? Yeah, look really strong playing like the three at the back. I'm surprised because they've never never really stuck with that formation. Over the last two years, but we look so strong. We don't like. We don't look like conceding. No, we, we, we didn't, and it's 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 just weird, isn't it? It's like uh, we were screaming at Dodds to like. Um, remember when he changed the winning side, and then we got thumped, and we thought like, um, why change a winning side and stuff? And it, it's like Dodds is like listening to the fans a little bit there, but yeah. um, <clears throat> I certainly wasn't panicked by West Brom. Were you? Did you feel like? Under threat at all? No, it's not. But then again, you, you, a team's only as good as you let them play like, and we didn't let them play, we didn't let Leeds play. And, I mean, I've been listening to Mark the other night, and he was saying, well, Leeds were a poor side, West Brom was a poor side, but uh, it's how you let them play like. And we haven't let them two sides play at all these last two games. Right, well... They're not a poor side because of the fact, like, the table doesn't lie at the end of the day. No, I know. Um, as you say, um, we just we just closed them completely out. It's as simple as that. Do you know what I mean? Um, we've got yeah. to say, Callum in the chat says, um, how are you doing? Um, Ken Walton, who's a member of the channel, um, thanks very much for joining last week. Um, he says, good evening. Cabby from Cornwall, South Hilton, born and bred, he says. Um, SJ has joined. He says, it was the ballad show for West Brom, and that's what helped us. He said. He also says, two stupid tackles by their striker. Thank you very much for imploding and helping us. Um, would you say that was the pivotal point, Davey, that, that, that sending off? Definitely. Well, I, w I wouldn't say it. I think we would have beat them anywhere with the 11, because we had them boxed off before then, but... But the, the the whole of their team just be, was just intent on trying to wind Ballard up the whole game and it stopped the, the own play like that. I, I couldn't understand that one. No, I know. It, 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 they should have just concentrated on their own game, I would have thought, and just concentrating, 
try and get in three points. Um, but it was funny seeing Ballard going up to the fans, wasn't it, and saying, like, stick that up, your chuffer. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> Aye, it was, it, it, it was good, like, and it? It's, it's just nice to see, like, the... Um, the lads relaxed, wasn't it? They, they, they looked like um, a bit of the old Sunderland um, when we right. were on former Mowbray. Do you know what I mean? It was like yeah, they looked like they looked like they're enjoying playing together again. Yeah, <clears throat> this is what happens. You see, when you you get you get some settled. I mean, I, I still believe to this day. You know, I I blame the the owners and speakman what I say to um, the reason reason why I was, I was season capitulated because of the fact like what happened with Mowbray and then bringing Beale in. I think the squad just did not know where the hell they were coming or going, and it really upset the floor of the team, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, that was a bad move getting Beale in. Like, oh God, see it, I. But tell you what, though, I was I was pleased. I was pleased for um, Equa. I mean, he's been getting a bit of stick from the fans, like you know, like he's not been the same player since he got injured and stuff. Uh, but yeah, he, he took his goal really well, didn't he? He did. I huh? just didn't even think about it. Just bang, it was in. I know. Um, it just it made it look so simple, you know. And it was actually quite a difficult technique what he did, wasn't it? I mean, it couldn't have been more perfectly timed. It was literally seconds after the sending off. Yeah, I think that is a place where when he's good, he's good. And when he's bad, he's bad. Aye, There's no like middle ground with him. Aye, I know. We've got Mad uh, Macam's just joined. How are you doing, mate? He's... Oh, I've been chatting with him earlier on the day. Aye, he's a good lad, isn't he? <clears throat> aye, Terry. Terry, aye. No, no, it's not. It's not that's Mad mistake. This is Mad Macam. Oh, not Terry. Aye, this is a this is a different. Um, oh, all from, right. We're all probably as mad as each other, isn't it? <laughs> aye, I was talking to Terry in the deal. Tell him I was coming on. Aye, he's a good lad, Terry, isn't he? Aye, uh, I seen him in your cab the other week. Aye, uh, I know, we had a good crack on, man. It was <laughs> kind of good. Aye, uh, Mad Macam says, uh, we've done a reasonable job of closing down teams, but still nothing that makes me happy in the long run. A pleasant diversion from our real problems. You know, um, and that's what's frustrating. It's like, you know, when we've got bis- thrashed five, was it five and out off Blackburn? Uh, was it five one or five and out? I can't remember, you know. Was it five? Was it five one or five? No, that um, Davy. Rick, Rick Scott. Ah, yes, that's right, that's right. I, and it's it's just frustrating because we know what we can do, uh, and we all knew that the team's better than that. Do you know what I mean? You cannot tell me yeah. that that you know, and it just goes to prove to show what what they have done. You know, showed up at Ellen Road on Sky, um, in front of a very hostile crowd. Then um, we silenced them, and we took completely took control of the Hawthorns, which is usually bouncing that place. No, it is. Plus, they should have beat Bristol City, so that, you know the run would even be better. Aye, aye, I know, I know. <coughs> but um, is there any player stood out for you? Oh, the mad mistakes just the mad mistakes just coming good, sure, lads. We got a good call. We need to build in the summer. We're just talking about you, Terry. There was um, Davy was uh, said he was having a crack on with you. So there we are to um. He must have been, his ears must have been burning, Davey. <laughs> just, mad mistakes just popped in. <laughs> Aye, so was, was there any players that stood out for you, um, would you say, like Davey, for yourself? Uh, well, on Saturday, I would say the two centre-halves had tremendous games, like, tremendous on, on Saturday, the two of them were strong. We've just... We've gone from by getting bullied off teams to we bullying them now. It's a, it's a great change around. Ah, oh, it is like, isn't it? It is. I mean, but like I said, Ballard was like immense, wasn't he? And he's such an important oh. player for Sunderland. Him, like, I mean, it, it's like a hole in the head when he's not when he's not playing with us, or he's like he's he's, he's you know he's injured or he's suspended, or whatever. He's such a miss. We need to keep out of players like that, like. Um, you can tell he's happy here. Yeah? Do you know what I mean? It's just a case of yeah. like making him want want to stay in that, you know. Yeah, and I mean he's caught, he's just signed a new contract last last season. Aye, I know, I know. He's uh, I liked him. I liked him from day one, Ballard. Yeah. Got some more um comments as well. On SJ says Equa is capable of those moments, but I think he's playing more defensive, and that's not his position. Hopefully, we can get a decent coach to come in. And get the best out of these players. Hello, John Ruddock. Ruddock's just popped in. 
Um, he says the only way forward is to get Speakman out. <clears throat> what do you think of that, Davey? Would you say it's? Do you think Speakman's learning his lesson a bit, or do you think we do need to get rid? You know, we just learned from I mean, like I said earlier. <coughs> I said, uh, this summer's a massive summer for all them at the top. A massive summer. Aye, aye, it, it is. I mean, a lot of people do, do keep saying that. Like, I mean, I mean, because we are, we are just literally praying. Playing for um, pride at the minute, like aren't we? That, that's all we're digging, you know. But it, yeah. it was, it was just so nice, wasn't it? To just all you could hear was the Sunderland fans at Leeds. All you could hear was the Sunderland fans at um, at, at West Brom as well. It was like, you know, and it's yeah. we've got now to play for. We've kind of gone down. We've kind of gone up, and you know, even some of the Leeds fans and that were phoning in. BBC Radio 5 Live and saying like, oh, blah, blah, the sad son and fans that were celebrating like they've won the bloody league. It's like, no, we're just passionate about our team and they want the team yeah. to win and that's the way they respond when the team wins. It's as simple as that. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Some players always get up for playing Leeds doesn't matter what, it, what the context is. It's queer. And I've I have often said in the past we've, we've not got that, we've not really that got a bad record against Leeds even especially like Ellen Road. Aye. Um, Viv seventy three's popped in. Hello, mate. Um, he says I would like KLD to go as well. Um, John, he says the problems start at the top. Um, Yorkshire Mackham's just messages on Discord again. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm trying. I just don't know how. I've... He's, he want, he's wanting to join us on call, but I don't know how to add him as a multiple caller on um, Discord. <laughs> I haven't got a server. You see, Jacob, that's the trouble. I I haven't got a server to add you on. I'll have to try and look into this. Um, it's all a learning curve. Uh, <laughs> you've got more hope of nailing jelly to the ceiling than Speakman um, learning anything, says Macam. There we go. <laughs> I would have been a bit too harsh on Speakman, do you think, Dave? This has got, goes back to not getting the info of the club. <clears throat> Is he just doing what KLD's telling them? Is he working to the budget? I mean, it's like anything. If somebody gives you a tenant to go in the supermarket, you're not going to come up with steak, are you? Yeah, yeah. So unless you know what his budget is, you could be blaming the wrong guy. Good point. Yeah, yeah. You, would you, would you, the thing is, though, you, you just you just don't know exactly what's going on, do you? It, 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 no. I mean, we, we, can, we can just sort of <clears throat> speculate and things like that, but we don't really know. Um... What's going on, to be quite honest with you? Is it just, just no, you guessing? never hear anything. That's one of the frustrating things. You never hear anything from them upstairs. No. Nah. You know, so... Um, we've got... Great, great win on Saturday, says um, the Yorkshire Mackham. The game was fairly dull. It was like um, sun and sort of weathered the storm a little bit in, in dribs and drabs from West Brom. But I think once we got that goal, I think you could sort of sense... <clears throat> the, the the sting had gone from West Brom if there was already any there in the first place and Sunderland I think they just looked comfortable um, SJ says teams fans saying that we celebrated like we won a cup tie are just bitter um, we're in a false position um, he says we're much better than where we are I mean yeah I mean absolutely we're like a sleeping giant do you know what I mean yeah. um, so what would you like to see us Against um, Millwall and Davy, would you would you would you say it like keep the same team? I don't know. You see, it's a difficult one because we're at home. Can you be playing that system like three centre halves at home? I don't know. It's a difficult one to go with. Aye. Aye, you know, I know, I know. Aye, you playing at home. You should be playing more attacking, but we haven't got the players to attack. We haven't got any centre forward. That's, you mentioned that to um, to Benno to um, on the, the the an hour after we've played um, the match at West Brom. Um, that's the first thing you said, wasn't it? It's like, mind you, we still need to need to get a striker. Like, I mean, quite. Oh, minutes. we need more than one. You need about two or three. Of well, course you do. I mean, you're going to get injured, aren't you? Why? Well, I think we're just getting one. That <clears throat> Ken Walton, um, member of the channels, just said Chelsea one nil. They've just scored. Oh. <clears throat> um, Mad Mackham says to me it's the principle of Speakman's role I disagree with and simply you don't think we need it 
not the man himself. Um, this lot have had the chance the season and blew it. I like as I mentioned this to to Davy before. It's like it was that sort of middle of the seasonish type of thing, wasn't it? Which like screwed things up with 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 getting oh, rid of getting rid of Mowbray and all that. I mean, I know. Yeah. He was ill. I mean, he might have, he might have just left anyway. We we just we just don't know what's happened there. Like, but um, when you think of it now, there would have been better just keeping Dodds, and then get then getting Beal in for them eleven or twelve games. They would have been far better off just keeping Dodds, and they would have saved a few million rather than paying them off. That's really like, really really bad management. That like, isn't it? It is when we can't afford a striker. We can't afford a striker, and yet we're. The fans are crying out left, right and centre. Even the Rangers fans, they're all saying, didn't they get Bale? And what do they do? They just ignore us. And then living games later, they're, they're sacking them and goodness knows how much they'll have had to pay. Oh, right, no, no, no. I think he's in a two and a half year contract. Aye, that's what I'm saying. Oh. Just, I mean... That would, have paid, that would have paid for Keith on those wages. <laughs> it makes you wonder, doesn't it, what, what business brain they have. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I mean, is is KLD telling Speakman what to do, or is exactly. Speakman is Speakman telling KLD what to do? Because you can't imagine I... KLD having much experience, can you? No. SJ says, "What do you think of Hummel? Hopefully, we can get some decent tops for a change. Obviously, the team on the pitch is more important, but surely we can um, take pride in our kits." Um, I'm really pleased about Hummel coming back. Um, <laughs> What about yourself? I'm not, it's not one thing I'm particularly bothered about. As long as it's red and white, that's all I bother about. As long as it's red and white. Or white and red, one of the two. red and white stripes. Didn't change that, but which I don't think they ever will. Like, I think um, I think a lot of it's down to like nostalgia, isn't it? Aye. To be quite... To be quite honest with you in that, like, I mean, there's a lot of good memories there. But it was a, it was a decent strip and all, like, but... There's quite a lot of strips I've not touched. Some a lot of the Adidas ones I've not really, not really bothered with, to be honest with you. But um, you should always wear a strip at work, didn't you? Ah, you know. Look, look, they can play in a brown strip. As far as I'm concerned, it's 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 the results on the pitch that matter. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Do you know what I mean? I've heard a few people as well been talking about um, Patterson and stuff. Do you think um, you think he'll be here next season? Do you think he deserves to stay with the club? Um, oh, I think, I think he's still be here. Because I mean, yes, he went through a period where he was a bit iffy and that like, but the last few games he's been pretty solid. I mean, let's face it, against especially against Leeds, and I mean how many Premier League teams was in that team? You know what I mean? And he commanded his box pretty well. I thought. I think he's a good keeper. Like, aye. Put this way, he, he's he's a, he's played every second of every match this season. The only player in the championship to do that. Sorry, you just froze there. No, no, I know. I totally agree with you. Ken Walton's just says uh, two 0 Chelsea. Um, John, I know John Ruddock. People going on about the Hummel strips. But the bottom line is we need quality, quality inside of me. Yeah, of course we do. Of course we do. Like I say, we'll, we'll be happy playing with a sweaty sock, man. Do you know what I mean? Oh, so do you think um, for the West Brom game, Dave, do you think um, Sunderland could have maybe tried and gone for the second goal? Do you think the, the sack back, sat back a bit too much with the risk in it, just sitting on a one-goal lead? Or do you think that would just look comfortable? Just like, the, the, the setup at the moment, it seems to make us play well. And I, we get it. We could have gotten two, three goals if we had a centre forward, but we just haven't got that centre forward that would take the chances. Yeah. I mean, it, Job does a good job. He does. He's it. He's our best option at the moment. He's better than any of them strikers they brought in. But 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 he's not a centre forward. He's not a goal sniffer, is he? Oh God's sake! No, absolutely, absolutely not. Far, far from it. Like, <laughs> no, but he, he does hold it up better than any of them others. Hamia and all them, and Burstow, they cannot hold water. I don't know. I mean, he'll, he'll probably, uh, 
come good birds tour, but birds tour at the minute. We call them birds tour. <laughs> but um, you know, if, if he might come good, but at the moment he's not the answer for us. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Um, Yorkshire says, do you think Leeds will bottle it, um, Derek, or do you think they'll gone up? It's going to be really tight at the top, isn't it? It's going to go to the last year. It's definitely... Well, it's, it's, I mean, Southampton's so not over yet, you know. No, 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 not by a long shot. You've got Leeds and Leicester to play. Yep. Leeds and Leicester to play, absolutely. It's... Um, of course, it's not just the Premier League. It's it's, it's the Premier League's also a squeaky bum time as well. Hello, daughter. There's yeah, just right. my daughter saying hello. Um, but it just goes to show you, with the right tinkering with our side, how much that Sunderland could be up there. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And it's I keep saying this time and time again. It's Sunderland just constantly have to change the attitude, struggling against the bottom teams, the mediocre teams, because we've been pants this season against them, haven't we? I mean, Huddersfield's done the double over us, for God's sake. You know, and things like that has to stop next season. If you're wanting to push for promotion, I mean, obviously we're miles off from the top two, but even the playoffs, you've got to have a be better record <clears throat> in the teams in the bottom half of that league. Yeah, but the, the trouble, the trouble Sun and have of beating the teams low below is because we have the ball and we pressure them and we're on top the whole game, but we cannot put the ball in the net. Ask him, I mean, to put it on then. Sorry, sorry, Dave, you just me daughter shouting at us. You want yeah, to it's then? okay. Go on, that's just me daughter. It's just, just, just that being the father thing. Sorry, Dave, uh, sorry, Dave what were you saying again, mate? I'm saying the reason we struggle against the teams at the, at the bottom is because we have a lot of the ball, <laughs> we pressurise the teams, but we can't put the ball in the net. Well, it's when we play the top sides, we don't have as much as the ball, but we're strong and and keep our shape. It seems to suit Sunderland more, doesn't it? Playing a team Definitely. that wants to come out at us and that. <clears throat> but this is where, this is where you need that goal poacher, that person, that mm -hmm. Jamie Vardy, that someone that knows where the where the twenty goal goals is. striker. Yeah, you want someone. That can score these scrappy goals, like the teams that's come down, come comes to the stadium, like with twenty behind the ball. You want that person to be at the right place at the right part time, just to knock it in with his toe, his arse all out, just knock it over the line, and that's what we haven't got. I mean, how many times have we been playing teams in the bottom half, and we've been all over them? The ball comes to the box, the ball's bouncing all over the place. There's not one Sunderland player on the end of it, on the on the end of it yeah. to put it away. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, and the way teams can sense this. And they say, well, we can sit here all day long, all night long, and you know these are not going to score mm -hmm. against us. And then they're going to mm -hmm. suck a punch us and get us and go and score a goal. I know. I mean, uh, the biggest regret that they must have, and they upstairs must have, when they sold Ross Stewart, they should have went straight out and bought a quality striker with that same money. Yeah, absolutely. That's um, the biggest mistake they've made. Oh, huge mistake, huge mistake. Ken Walton, the member, says enjoying the crack. Um, thanks for that, Ken. Um, Yorkshire Mac, and we should sign Morgan Whitaker and Smodic next season. I mean, there's some tasty. I I think the that black the Blackburn player. I think the who's banging in the goals. I think he'll be. I don't think he would be Blackburn next season. Like, no, he's, he, he's on fire. Like, no. Um, SJ says spot on about Job. That speaks volumes about the strikers we brought in. I think he's referring to your comment, Davey. Well done, Speakman, for that. Eh? Hopefully he learns from that. Not holding my breath. Um, John says, uh, if we had invested in a proven striker, we would have been in the playoffs. Yeah, didn't, didn't you say that, did, did you say that to Ben Orton today? Or was it, I don't know if it was somebody else. You mentioned like if if we'd have kept hold of Stuart or Stuart was fit, um, you know, we, we'd be battling in the playoffs as we speak. Definitely. Aye. That's the biggest thing. That the what if, what if. Aye. You can't get promoted without a striker scoring 20 goals a season. It's never, ever happened, ever. Oh, God's sake, abs abs absolutely not. And I'm not on about Jack Clark scoring 20 goals. I'm on, I'm on about a centre-forward should get 20 goals and Jack Clark's 15 and 16. That's how you get up. We are not experienced businessmen running a club, but we are. We always know the crack. Like, um, 
But the trouble is, an experienced centre forward costs money. <laughs> as well as the fee, they're on good wages. Yeah, and a lot of people seem to forget that. It's it's not so much just about the how much you're paying for the player, it's no. it's the wages as well. How how, 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 much, how much how much he's on because it's no good saying like uh you know, oh people saying, Oh, you've got to splash the twenty odd million to get this player. Um but if if they're not gonna match the fifty grand a week that the player wants, he's he's gonna go elsewhere. Of course he is. You know, until we learn that method. I mean, I know it's, it's wrong, but that's the way football is at the minute. Hey ho, it's the players want the money, and if we didn't learn that, then <clears throat> that's why we haven't got the likes of um, <clears throat> Broadhead, etc. And you can go on and on and on, on. like they're banging the goals in for the teams. The wages. Yeah, absolutely. Didn't blame them either. You look on the Ipswich. You look getting treble the money that he's going to get here. <clears throat> Aye. Some more um, comments are coming in thick and fast to you as well. John Ruddick says, This ownership don't want promotion. They can't afford the wages for the Premier League. A few people have said that. What do you reckon? That? Do, you think, do, you think, do you think the owners would be quite happy with just spending a few years in the Championship, getting a bit of well, a profit in? It's, <coughs> it's madness. It's madness because as soon as you get promoted, you get about 200 million quid, man. Well, I think... So how can you not afford to go up? I've never watched that one. You can't afford to go up. It's rubbish. I mean, maybe so from Division 2 to Division 1 or whatever like that, but from the Championship to the Premier League, the, the gap and the rewards are just, just humongous, oh. aren't they? Aye. Um, John says, this lot were happy in League 1 getting 30,000 crowd. Um, paying, 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 paying us for players. Um, <clears throat> I mean, the, the the games are running out thick and fast. I mean, how many games we got left? Is it? Uh, let's have a look. See what the uh, the fixtures that we've got left were. Were the all red and whites? I know we've got um, Millwall coming up. Our next home home game. Um, not many games left. Bloody hell! I, I thought there was more than this, but there's not. There's only three games left. Sunderland at home to Millwall. <clears throat> away to Watford. We don't seem to do too bad down Watford. We like to draw down Watford. Sunderland seem to draw a lot down there. And then, of course, um, Sunderland v Sheffield oh. Wednesday at home. I mean, how many points would you expect Sunderland to get um, from them three games, Davey? Any anything that takes your pick there? Draw. So you broke up there, Davey. What was that again, mate? Two minutes in the draw, seven points. Seven points. Well, we'll take that. Yeah. Um, I mean, you would have took four points if someone told you when we play Leeds and West Brom, we're going to take four points from that. You'd take the hand, take the hand off, wouldn't you? Definitely. Um, sure or not. Viv73 also oh. says, let's not forget about the Sky money as well. Um, oh, that's that's Nine million. Why, uh, you know, <clears throat> I mean, you just have to look at the the playoff final, um, the championship playoff final. It's the most lucrative game of football, just about on the planet, is it not? That's what they keep saying. The the rewards for going through the playoff final. Yeah. <clears throat> so I know what you're saying. I'm not buying that one pipe. People saying <clears throat> we cannot afford to go up. I mean, how am I? No, it's rubbish. It's rubbish. Mm. So on, on another. <clears throat> subject then um it looks like we're sticking with Dodds for the end to the end of the season. Um who do you, who are you still fancying to take over? I mean we keep getting Will still. Um uh, yeah, I think he's the favourite. And I'm just looking at the Sun and Neck one now. It's next Sun and manager odds, ex Leeds United and Celtic bosses put current championship coach in uh, as the price shifts. Um Sam Allardyce is getting mentioned again, can you believe it or not? And um, Neil Lennon, I wouldn't want Neil Lennon, would you? No. Christ him. Um, Alex Ray, Alex Ray is getting mentioned. <laughs> um, I, think I, think, I think they've got the next manager already. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, some of the things they're mentioning here, <laughs> the same Niall Quinn. I mean, did anybody not, not learn the lesson last time Niall Quinn was manager? I mean, he, absolutely. 
Peter Reid, I mean, Craig, you look at Peter Reid, he look, looks like he's got his keel out. He's not half aged, does he, old Peter? Um, Kevin Phillips, I don't think he's had enough experience. Neil Warnock, I don't think Neil Warnock would want to um, to do a full season. Oh, for God's sake. And some, uh, it's the, the Echo's mentioning Steve Bruce. I, I'm not going any further. <laughs> Think Bob and Jeff, isn't it? Who's wrote that article like Alan Shearer? <laughs> <laughs> My God's sake. A call a call Hatrick. What is a Celtic a Chelsea got a third, have they? Bloody hell, they're on form tonight, aren't they? Three 0 against three Everton. Up. Bloody hell. Ah, part and quarter. I tell you what, I mean, Everton aren't that, aren't that safe at the minute, you know. No, no. Don't forget some more points to go. Oh, I can't say that like, but uh, that's mad. Um, so you still think it's Will still hovering in the background? Eh? I agree. Very confident it'll be Will still. Wouldn't wouldn't surprise me if they've already had a meeting with him behind closed doors, or he's he's got into yeah. his plane and had a flown out and seen him. Yeah. I don't know enough about him, like, but for some strange reason, well, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't complain if we got him, like. Um, we've got some more comments here SJ if we don't want to spend money then just go up and don't spend come back down and we've got 150 million to spend in the championship he says don't understand why some people say we don't want to go up I mean <clears throat> I often come up with that theory the fact like if you get like 150 million quid par parachute payments or whatever it is I don't know the exact figure um, how come Sunderland just plummeted straight into division 1 when we got relegated with David Moyes, all that money came in off the parachute payments. Where did that go? Oh, they spent a fortune, man. Do you know what I mean? It's just... They bought, <coughs> they bought loads of players, like oldish players. Oh, I'm trying to think who they bought. Like, uh, we paid a fortune for them and give them fortunes and wages, like Dilla Bodgy and them, <sighs> on like 50 grand a week. So basically, we, we, we got the money and we literally just spent it on shite. <laughs> to, 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 to cut a short story long, basically. Yeah. I mean, that Ella Shaw done his bollocks in, man. He spent a fortune at that club. Ah, you know, he did, he did. Just had the wrong people run it. Aye, right, SJ says uh, Allardyce, he's finished now, I reckon. John Ruddock fancies Cooper. Um, I think they won't be able to afford to get Cooper, to be honest with you. Like, no. He's a Premier League manager just about, isn't it? He's not going to get him. If if Cooper's going to manage somebody else, he'll, he'll be managing another Premier League club. Mark my word, he will. Yeah. Um, I would, Same as Potter. Potter's I another one. They're, they're hanging out for a job in the Premier League. The likes of Potter and uh, people like that. I wouldn't be surprised the likes of Cooper. I wouldn't be surprised if he... Goes to somewhere like Everton or somewhat like that if they, if they right. stayed up or you know I think that's I'm not saying Cooper's top five top six Premier League manager no but definitely from mid table below so mark my word next season I think you'll see Cooper uh, managing another Premier League team to be quite honest yeah. with you. Um, yeah. Zarek says we are heading to League One next season. Just watch. I don't think so, okay. Zarek somehow because we're mathematically safe. Do you mean the season? Um, Next. Oh, next season, sorry, next season you said, just watch. I don't think the fans would allow that to happen, to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, I just don't think the fans would allow that. If they could see the warning bell starting to repeat next season, like, say, the first ten games have gone and we've lost, say, seven of them, and we're, the fans won't stand for that, will they? Uh, I don't think we'll ever get in that position again, Touchwood. No, <clears throat> Touchwood... Um... SJ says, aren't West Ham interested in Mr. Still, Will Still? Um, I don't know. Have I heard anything about that? Have you heard out about that? I don't think I have. It's, in the, it's on the internet today. It's just because he's a West Ham fan, man. He's a West Ham fan, man. It doesn't necessarily mean you make a good manager no, because you're no. a fan of the club, does it? No. No, 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 no. Um, Elliot Anderson. Hello, mate. Welcome to the chat, fella. Ella Short took the parachute payments as part of the sale, um, which could be... Because he did clear the debt for Sonnen, didn't he? Aye. Which he didn't have to, to be honest with you, because we could have been in the crap oh, no. if he hadn't have done that, you know. Oh, no. Um, 
The Pennywell, Pennywell Pundit, how are you doing? Ellis Short took the parachute payments as well, he's saying. SJ, how do you think Donald bought the club? Hint. <laughs> um, D Hall, welcome, mate. Um, doesn't Will still have a 5 million euro release clause? Can't see KLD paying that. Well, that seemed to stop us from getting KLD this um, last time, didn't it? Yeah, but it's, it's gone down to 3 million now because it's a year later. Aye, the, the less time he has left at that club with his contract, the value's going to go down as well. Yeah. And, uh, three, and million, then... three million's now, man. Oh, for a for for coach. And maybe that's why <clears throat> they're keeping, keeping Dodds because they've, they've thought, like, look, the sun and Dan gonna gone down. Um, and to be fair, he went through a blip, Dodds, but he's holding his own at the minute. He's got, yeah. us, out, he's got us out with the line. And I think KLD and speaking will be rubbing their hands to say, well, yeah, job's done. That part of the business has paid off. Um, and we can just remain, f go to the end of the season and that buyout clause is going to go less and less and less if they do decide to gun for him. Um, John Ruddock says, so long as Dodds doesn't get the job, there's no way Dodds will get the job. Like, there's no, no disrespect to him, like, but uh, I would still like to see, would you still like to see Dodds at the club if it Will still came? Or would you like, would you like to see Will still come and bring his own backroom staff, his own coaches still along with him? Own men, like. hey. Will still bring his own men, but I think Dodds will still be kept on in a in a lower job. Like I would say so. I would say so along along that style. Like yeah, without without a doubt. So there's no way. There's, I don't. Dodds Dod, will definitely not. I mean, there can't be that stupid. Our owners can they? Yeah, they're, not, they're not giving it Dodds. Definitely not. You know. Yeah. So I mean. Who knows? It could be an exciting. I think it's going to be an exciting summer. Put it this way: we're oh. going to be we're going to be looking with bated breath. Do you know what I mean? You don't think we're being too hasty, do you? Thinking we should be aiming to get out of this division next season. You know, I mean, how many clubs oh. in that championship have stayed in the championship for years? You know, what give, oh. some of the neutrals on Talk Sport today were saying, um, you know, what gives Sunderland the given right to think that they should be out of this league next season? And I'm thinking, well. The simple fact is, it's because we're the biggest club in that league by a mile, but it doesn't necessarily mean you have the right to want to get out. You've got to earn it. Of course you do. Everybody has to earn it. At the end of the day, it's one of the most difficult leagues to get out of. I thought Division 1 was hard, but the Championship is 10 times more. Oh, I... Because um... you've always got three teams coming down with the parachute payments. That will always be. And they're, a, they're, they're already a step ahead of you. Exactly. You know, so in theory, so you, you're playing three Premier League teams. Well, you're, you're playing them yeah. six times, aren't you, in that season? Yeah. Six times you're playing a yeah. Premier League side. Mm -hmm. You know, but so, it can, you can do it. You can get, I mean, we, we were very unlucky last season, you know. For, if we'd had a striker last season, I think we would have, if we would have had a, a fit Stewart, we would have went up last season. I do believe that because, I mean, I think. Luton Town, they just bullied us um, off out, out of the ball at um, at Kenilworth Road and we didn't have an answer for it. We had big centre-offs that night, if you remember. I know. Um, SGS says, uh, oh, John Ruddock, what's he saying? Bring in new coaches. Um, Dodds will stay as long as Bellingham is here. Um, Yorkshire Mackham says, Leeds United were in the Championship for 16 years. That's mad when you think of that, isn't it? 16 years yeah, they were in the championship. I mean, they went, they went through crap, haven't they? And so have we, to be honest with you. Um, John Ruddock says, good lads, good show, see you later. Cheers, John. Cheers for popping in, mate. You're welcome any time. And the, I remember Ken Walton says, don't think Dodds should be demoted from first team duties. Um, Dodds should manage the under-21s in Yorkshire. Well, obviously the fans still like him. Do you know what I mean? They didn't want uh, to see him like totally... Off you go. You know what I'm saying. Um, yeah. So in in the in in the close season, is there any more players apart from strikers you think we we should target for? Where 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 Sun under week? We need a old midfield player. Mhm. Mm experienced one, not a young one, experienced one. Uh, I think we need I think we need a, a goalkeeper for competition for Patterson. Yep. And 
like I say, it all depends who leaves, who who leaves, because it, it, that's in the lap of the gods, isn't it? Of course it is. There's Clark, you've got Clark, Ballard, Neil, they'll all be touted all summer. Do you think Clark will stay? Oh, I think he'd definitely go. We couldn't pay his wages, man, though, what he's going to be offered. You think, do you think Clark's done enough um, this season in the shop window playing for Sunderland to attract the, the bigger clubs? You still there, yeah, Aye, I'm here. I'm saying he's a good player. He's, he's a good player, aye. Um, aye. I just thought we'd get a good wedge for him because <sighs> we'll need it to replace him. It's the merry-go-round of football, isn't it? You're constantly going to have that a good player comes in. I mean, it's business, isn't it? We'll do the same to other clubs. Um, the Pennywell pundit, Pennywell pundit says, I'd say ideal scenario, um, loosen the model and bring back Mowbray and get rid of speaking and his role entirely. Um, I don't. Nobody knows what's up with Mowbray. Um, has anybody, have you heard anything in, about Mowbray, how he's doing? He's got cancer, but I don't know where he's got it. I don't know. Is that what is that what it is, is it? Well, he's definitely cancer. Well, I don't know what, what form of cancer he's got. Well, he had, he had the operation, didn't he? Um, which yeah. seemed to go, well, all we can do is just just wish him the best, man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. A absolutely. Um, SJ, plenty of speculation about players leaving Clark, Neil, Hume, Patterson, Ballard. We are capable of replacing some of them. Um, are we capable of replacing some of them? That's where some have gone wrong in the past. Good players have gone. Um, we've, we've, we've brought worse players in. For example, Birdstore. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, that's, what, that's what we've got to be careful of. But it's a case of like, would you let Will still be in charge of bringing players in? Say, K KLD Speakman, enough's enough now. You've done enough damage. You know, let Will still... Pick his players who he wants to fetch in. And that, yeah. but <clears throat> well, the manager should pick the players he wants to play. Like then he's accountable for his for, for his decisions. Aye, he has to be really. To be honest with you, it's... Well, aye. if somebody else is bringing them in, I think it's a bit of a cop out for the manager, like myself. Of course, absolutely. What 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 is? Speakman, what, what's his history though? I mean, how did he get to be where he is? I don't know if anybody yeah. in the chat knows about what exactly. Birmingham, that's where he come from, Birmingham. Was it Birmingham? I come from Birmingham. We 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 poached him from Birmingham. Bloody hell. <laughs> Freaking hell. He's currently got some foreign blood in him though, what his name, hasn't he? <laughs> oh dear, it's um Sunderland under 21s 1, Middlesbrough under 21s 2, and the attendance oh. at the stadium are like 682. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, in case you're interested in that one. Uh, yeah, so, uh, now they'll get me one out at half time. Aye. And the, yeah, it had a, on, on, on the internet, it had a picture of the stadium, right? right. Well, empty um, see. Uh, we're all the empty seats and somebody put underneath official attendance, 42,000. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> <coughs> you know, hey, hey, what does that say when us own, own, own Sunderland fans are laughing at it? Do you know what I mean? And, uh, it is it is comical, like, isn't it? <coughs> are you going to any of the games, the remaining games left at, at home? Are you going at any art? Uh, I got the home games, but I didn't get the weird games, now. When I was younger, I used to go home and away every, every week. Like they used to love it. Aye, the away games were a lot of people prefer the, oh, away, the, the, away, the, games. the away games and yeah. stuff. Eh? When, when we're in the third division, they were the best days. I used to love going away. <laughs> that um, can you remember that um match? Was it at, was it Wigan or was it Walsall when it was just a grass muddy bank? Wigan. Was it Wigan? <laughs> I know what was sliding down and that. We're doing somersaults and stuff. Aye. <laughs> God, I mean, that's what you call safe standing, isn't it? Aye. <laughs> Christ almighty. Chelsea's gone 4-0 up, says Ken Walton, I remember. 4-0 oh, up, Chelsea. 
Everton as well. I would have, I would have thought Everton would have put a bit of a bit of a more fight up than that. To be honest with you. <clears throat> but I, uh, if there's anything that sticks in my mind, it's it's definitely the uh, at division division three. I mean, I know I, I was actually at Roker Park when we played Gillingham when we went, when we went down. But um, uh-huh. at the end of the day, in hindsight, it's given us some good memories being in that third division. And I mean, we're beating teams seven out in that man. Well, yeah. Did we beat? Like- was it? Who was it? Was it South End we beat at the at uh, Roker Park seven out or something? Right, right. And I mean, like, if you win a game, you win there. You were winning like four one and four out. So it was great, man. Ah, you know, I know. It was, it was just mad still seeing Roker Park packed, even in the in the old right. in the old third division, on even like on the <laughs> night games, and you you've just got your cup of bottle to keep you warm. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's, uh, yeah. And how many fans have just have not witnessed that? They, they weren't born or they were too young. I know. Mad. It's, aye, so... Aye, it's all, all happy memories. And we just hope we're going to have uh, more memories to come as well. Do you think Do you think Sonnen should go hunting for a decent second keeper as well for backup? Because we've been lucky with, with, with Pato, haven't we? He's not been really injured much. Are oh, the lines just dropped there, um, Davy? Can you still leave us? All right. Now you broke up there. You've come back on now. Aye, aye. A few people are saying about um, Patterson and that. We need a, a, a you know, an, another another keeper for backup. I mean, we've been lucky with Patterson, haven't we? Because he's not been injured oh, really. Aye. Yeah, he's playing every he's playing every second of every game. And considering. Um, Sorry, I've just been sent a picture of the Sunderland um, home and away shirts for next season. Someone's modelling these. I don't know oh, all right. how true they are. I'll show you the home top. I'll hold on a minute. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that, uh, Davey? What can I say now? Uh, 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 uh. Nothing. I presume the webcam's working. <laughs> oh, you can't because of the friggin' the glare, man. Stupid camera. Um, see, that's any better. No. Oh, God's sake! Isn't isn't that weird? Be phone showing like showing like that, like in the in the webcam. We'll put the dazzle off. There we are. <laughs> that's our home top, apparently. Oh. With the uh, the chevrons on the shoulders, oh. and this is our a wear top apparently. There we go. Oh, champion! But you always get the. It amazes me how people know about the league tops coming out, don't they? Months and months before the day. Aye, it is. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> Is that, is that another go for change? Oh no, not at all, not at all. <clears throat> so, are you confident then, Davey? Are you confident in the summer then? I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm confident, but I, 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 I'm waiting to see what's going to happen, mate. Because we need some serious investment. If we if we're serious about going getting promoted, it, it needs some serious investment in the right places. Aye. I.e. a striker is an absolute must. An experienced striker who can guarantee you 20 to 25 goals. And it's no good going and getting a striker f- f- that we've never heard of from oh, right. Somebody or... from Ecuador. A young guy from Ecuador that scored 100 goals. <laughs> Someone from Ecuador, I. <laughs> you know what I mean? Scored 100 goals this season in, f- in 14 games or something. Aye. When they're playing in the back streets. Or the or the spotted a um somebody from the non league team um Clag Clag Eaton FC or something like that he he scored one hundred and sixty goals for them. <laughs> look at that! I mean, look at that! Hamia on YouTube. He looks like he looks like Pelé. <laughs> when he's playing in them boys leagues in Benfica, he looks uh, unstoppable, and he I comes in, he can't even run. <laughs> 
Oh dear. I tell you who's getting a lot of praise at the minute. Um, Pem Belly. Aye, oh, um, done well, ain't he? A lot of the fans are saying um, he can be because uh, he was injured, wasn't he? Quite a lot. A lot of a lot yeah. of fans are saying like they like the look of this Pem Belly lad. Like if we can keep hold of him. Yeah. Oh, the keeper, mate. He'll definitely be here next season. You know, I thought he, I thought he did really, really well. Mundell, I'm not too sure of. No, oh, he's gone off. He's gone off the scene, hasn't he? He doesn't even get on now, does he? No, he doesn't. Like he's like he's just getting pushed to the side. Do you think? Do you think Roberts will be away as well as Clark? No, no, Roberts is to no, no. It's nobody will have him. <laughs> nobody will have he's him. He's just he's just signed a contract, and then he's got like issues with his nut. I see. No, nah, well, that's what they say. Dodge was saying, you know, he needs to be loved and all that. You oh, know, I love me. Freaking hell. <clears throat> Just show me, show me the paychecks enough, isn't it? I often ask that about the wife. <laughs> From the wife. <laughs> <laughs> New paycheck included. <laughs> I show you my love tonight, Pet. Yeah, get that dishwasher filled. This, this is her telling me, not the other way around, by the way. <clears throat> oh, dear me. So then... Um, What's your predictions and coming up for the Millwall game, Davy lad? I think three and out. Mm. Confident of a three and that. And any goal scorers? Anybody in the chat? Who do you? What do you think will happen against um, the Millwall match? Who do you think will score, Davy lad? <laughs> hey, a Clark Hatrick. There you go. A Clark Hatrick. Right. <sighs> Both time he scored a Hatrick. Oh, well, I'll certainly, I'll certainly take that. Yeah, right. Um, someone's asking, how did we do at the Den this season? Can you remember how we did against Millwall? Did they, did they beat us? What, or was it nil-nil? 1-1. One, one. Was, it, was it 1-1, one, one, was it? Uh, Let's have a look. Right. Mm -mm -mm, I You're right. Clark scored. Um, who scored for us? Clark. Jack Clark, yeah, and it was a penalty. Aye. Well, I've got a good memory. <coughs> Aye, it was it was a penalty. And we'll do one one last season with him now. Aye. Then a certain scored a header and got knocked out. That's right. That's right. Um, just reading some more of these comments and stuff. Um, Yorkshire Mackham's talking about. The old Roker Park days. Apparently, when we got relegated after losing to Gillingham, there were Newcastle fans with the Gillingham fans. I was at that match. I seen it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, all in the paddock, the Newcastle fans. They were dotted all our way. It was, it was hell leaving the yeah. stadium. There was pockets of them outside waiting waiting around for us and that man. Um, yeah. SJ's just put a few on. Just promote Matty Young, who's doing well at Darlington. Um, someone obviously works at Hummel and a leak in the info. Ooh, they'll get back mm. for that. Um, if we can get 25 to 30 million for Clark, then it needs to be invested properly. This is exactly what Davies just said. The problem is the money. The problem is the money we owe Spurs. Aye. <clears throat> and there's a few goal, um, goal predictions coming in for the Millwall game. SJCM 1 1. Yorkshire Mackham's gone 3 1. Um, and Ken Walton, the member, says 1 1. Hmm. <clears throat> You know, I'm just looking back. Oh, that, that's daily? the same trouble with the same trouble with Ballard if we're selling with all Arsenal money. Yeah. Ah, it's just that's just the way it goes, like, didn't it? No, that's how we get them on it. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's these there's these clauses and stuff, of course there is. I'm just looking back at some of the results that Sunderland have had this season. Um that was a bad spell, wasn't it, when we lost um <clears throat> away to Plymouth tune out. Um, and then straight away we lost at home two one to Huddersfield. I was like, God, that that was they were a bad couple of games then, weren't they? Aye. Um Bristol City they beat us one nil. Coventry, God, I hate them. Coventry we just don't aye. seem to beat. If there's any boring yeah. teams for Sunderland, it's Coventry, isn't it? Coventry, I hammered us over here. Oof, three, aye, three. That was Bill's first game. Bill's first game, and then he got a win. Second game after that, um, away to Hull. Um, I boxing gear. Aye, and then drew to Rotherham, and then he got us a nice win two 0 um, against Preston, and we thought like 
Hey, Bailey, so you know what I mean? We might, we might, he might be coming, he might be all right, Bailey, you know what I mean? And then there was the FA Cup collapse against Newcastle, wasn't there? Oh, and I. <laughs> and I'm not having any excuses for that game, and man, leagues apart, or whatever oh. apart, we didn't put up a fight, and now we're like lump, lump of wet yeah. lettuces, weren't we? Yeah, I never turned up, did we, Dal? Four, five, six, and then the six defeats on the trot. Um, it's 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 a very very patchwork quilt of colours. Um, you know, reds indicating defeat and wins colour of green, and it's just all multi colours. It's just there's no consistency. There's no pattern. No. It's a it's a typical middle of the table. Um, is there any, is there any teams in the championship, Davy, that's surprised you where? The lower than what you think they should have been. That they should be up there. I mean, I'm surprised the likes of Birmingham are where they are. You surprised Millwall so low down. You surprised Millwall so low down. Ah, well, they they nearly got in the playoffs last year. We just picked them, didn't we? We did. Um, they Blackburn were Blackburn and all. Blackburn's another side that's determined. Blackburn, aye, oh. it was yeah, because it was Millwall against Blackburn, wasn't it? Aye. Um. So yeah, I mean, I, I think that the top half of the table is pretty much oh, making making sense. Uh, yeah, Ipswich, oh, I think, is surprising everybody. They've, I mean, how many yeah. years they were in Division One, and now look at them. I mean, they're looking now that they're kind of right. up automatically. Like, I mean, the other teams have been kind towards them. Like, the <coughs> fortune, though. Look what happens, though. Oh, I definitely got the Jonas. We've got the Jonas. Don't do this by me. Do you know what I mean? Look, that, that's what happens. I mean, would you would you rather be spending a load of money and sitting top of the league where they are? No. I don't know. So you got any plans tonight then, Davey? Uh, just watch a bit telly. Tap the dogs for a walk and watch a bit telly. Aye. Have you have you enjoyed the show tonight? Aye, brilliant. I love it. Love it. Good crack. Aye. Are you up for coming next Monday? Yeah, why I no problem. Because I can do a flyer, you see, and advertise it for next week. Yeah. And um, if you're happy coming on, Davey, like, I think the viewers are happy right. to have you on. Right. Well, we'll still be playing in the summer, won't we? <laughs> 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 oh, it's, it's just when, when you spoke, if anybody's not heard Davey before, get on, on yeah. the a BBC I play, not the BBC, the BBC Sounds, and get on the um, BBC Radio Newcastle, and you can listen back. And you leave Davy coming in, like I mean, on it's just the way he just introduces himself. Oh, you doing Benno? Get shouts, get loud. <laughs> uh, I can just imagine Benno having taken his headphones off a little bit to say hello, Davy. <laughs> <coughs> he loves, <coughs> he loves you really, you know, Benno. I love it was I. So I will end the um, I will end the chat there. Have you cheers for people? Popping in. I know people are not going on a Monday, but it's been a good show as usual. You, you've enjoyed yourself there, Davey, lad? Yeah, I'm it. Aye, it's um, been able to hear you loud and clear. Nice to see your face and all, Davey, lad. <laughs> Aye, so we'll, we'll catch you um, next week then, folks. Next Monday, same place, same time. Well, I'll see you later, lads. <laughs>